This demo will show you how to use the Dive Viewer, which it, we're also calling C2. You can open it from the menu. It's called Ropos Dive Videos, but this menu name may change. When you do open it, this window opens and it's expandable, which means you can grab the corner and pull it out to a size that you like. From this menu, you can choose the dive. So I'll just choose one here. At present, all of our uh, Ropos installation dives are available, and in the future we'll be adding the Wally Cam videos from Wally the Crawler, as well as our cameras uh, that are fixed on platforms at the seafloor. Here you see Wally hanging over the side of the ship, ready to be lowered to the seafloor last fall the fall of 2009. This panel over here shows a map of the area where we were working at that time. And if you zoom in, you can see a red line, and this traces the path of Ropos over the course of this dive. Here we can see the bathymetry in Barkley Canyon. The next tab, the profile, shows the depth at which Ropos was operating. So at this time, the beginning of the dive, Ropos was at the surface. It dove down to over 800 meters, 800 and nearly 900 meters, worked at the seafloor for a number of hours, and then finally returned to the surface. This next tab, the detail tab, shows who the chief scientist was, or the uh, principal investigator, the location and the date, as well as the objectives for the dive. This next tab here I'll show a little bit later, but this is where you can add comments if you find something of interest. Down here, this part includes all of the annotations that were added over the course of the dive by the loggers who were on ship and monitoring the progress of the dive. You can search, the, you, can, you can see which annotation is current as it's highlighted. You can also search them. So right now I'll search for seafloor. And I've found an annotation Wally on seafloor. I can search again. There's another, and another, or maybe I want to look for hydrates. So here we are coming up on some hydrates. You can see these are the little markers, uh, waypoint markers that were brought to the seafloor and are used for Wally's pathway in the Barclay hydrates. Uh, study area. You can also click directly on one of the annotations and you can move the video to that time. You can also navigate the video via the map. So if we move in, we can see that the, the position marker is here in time and space, but if I click somewhere else, I can move to a different time during the dive. It's also possible with this tool to search all dive videos. So if I'm interested in squid, for example, I can search and I can find annotations from different dives relating to squid. I can choose, uh, choose one of these and move, load that different dive and move directly to it. So that's pretty much uh, what we have in the Dive Viewer at this time. In the future we'll be adding more functionality and we are always very interested and happy to hear your comments, your suggestions for how we can improve this tool.
in the future. Thank you.